Hello and welcome. In today's episode, we are going to check out the post game content in the game Arthur. And so, without further ado, let's go. Congratulations for completing the game. You are free to speak to any of the characters as Arthur for extra lore content. Thank you for playing. Interesting, there is. There is a. I mean, the lore is really exciting. To be honest, I really like where this game is going. This game went, well, where this game went, and everything. So, let's go and talk to. Um, okay, firstly, first let's just talk to our best friend Arthur. Oh, hey Arthur. What's up? Oh, wow, lots of dialogue. You're so nice now. You're so nice to me now. Comparing with how you were at first. Hey, shut up. I'm nice to everyone. I'm just picky on who I should trust. <laughs> ah, I see. Being nice and being kind are two separate things after all. Exactly. Hey, you're a pretty smart kid. No, Arthur, it's you who's a little bit dumb at times. Hey, such a himbo. What's a himbo? Hey! What's up? Thanks for the event. Okay. Thank you very much for the adventure. What are you talking about? We went through all of that together. If you're thank thanking me, then I'm thanking you too. Thanks for the fun, Arthur. Likewise, Arthur. What's up? Hey, I just remember you promised to teach me. Teach you what? What? Teach you what? Nah. Back at the inn, when we were checking the books, you told me the months you were, were said differently back at your place. Oh yeah, I remember. Hmm. Then sure, I can teach you. It's, it's pretty boring though. No, I want to learn. <laughs> okay, okay. Officially, my place doesn't have any established monthly system. Okay, this is we are learning uh, something, uh, some backstory about this author guy. Surprisingly, we don't know much about him when we play. We were playing that game, uh, like the normal game, playing through Arthur. We do not know much about this guy Arthur, the, the one without an H. But now we are learning something about him, so this is something interesting. Officially, my place doesn't have any established monthly system, so my little bandit group made up months. Oh, he has a group. I've never heard of a place which hasn't implemented calendars. It's unfortunately backwards there. Knowledge is laughed at, money is everything. That's terrible. You must bring me there. I will help sell those matters. It's fine. I'm not there anymore, and that's what matters. Oh, don't be so selfish, Arthur. I'm a prince. It's my duty to make sure my people are thriving and happy. If we can even find that place back, that is. I sure hope not. <laughs> okay. Arthur, guess what? I love you! That's cute. I love you too, kid. Oh, I expected you would get embarrassed. I am, but who cares? If there's anyone I care about, it's you. <laughs> Allow me to join as well. Arthur, I love you. Your hits are getting better, my love. <laughs> this is... Oh. He gets on my nerves every time. Wizard Cosmic likes you a lot, huh? Me being me, of course I've thought of manipulating his feelings for me to benefit my own gains. He is so powerful. But that guy is so annoying. It's impossible. I can't stand him. Perhaps it is a good thing. What? Well, more questions. More questions? Do you want to go home? Not really, no. It's unlike the things you've seen here, Arthur. It's a terrible place. But what about your family or a significant other? Arthur, I'm an orphan. I have no blood ties to anyone. I make those ties myself. Unfortunately, I'm not very popular there due to the many people I've swindled, so there are currently no one I miss there. You're literally the only one I care about. Seriously, if anything happens to you, I'll go ballistic. It's okay, Arthur. Sage Rai confirmed the one in constant danger in the future is you, not me. 
Huh? Really? More questions? Okay, let's know about his romantic orientation. Arthur, I'm curious of your romantic orienta orientation. And why would you want to know that? Is that the video set you up to ask me this? Oh no no, honest, I'm just curious. <laughs> My orientation, huh? Money. <laughs> Sorry, as expected. More questions? Your hair is so long. Arthur, your hair is very long. Huh? Okay. It's a cultural thing. Really? Please tell me about it. Okay, but promise me... Promise not to get upset for me, alright? If it is an upsetting reason, then I would like to hear it seriously. Heh, <laughs> guess you will. Well, um, in my land, long hair means we are nobodies. The longer your hair, the lesser your worth. It just makes it easier for them to drag us around. Oh gosh, that is so cruel. Sometimes they tie our hair to a moving vehicle for entertainment. Oh! Their method of uh, execution was also heavily reliant on us having long hair. It's just sick. Indeed, it's very sick. Now, now, you promise not to get angry. What kind of land is that? What, what kind of land is it, Arthur? I do believe it is in, in serious need of reform and rebuild. <laughs> I could care less of where it is. I'm just glad I'm out of there. Hey, don't be sad. Look, I'm okay. Look, strong and healthy. Hmm. Look at me, flex my muscles. Ooh. I'm Arthur. I'm strong Arthur. I'm Arthur, no less name. Arthur. You don't need to hold my shirt like that. Look, I'm fine. I'm here, okay? I'll be here with you for a long while. I'm not going anywhere. We are friends, right? Ah, la 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 la. Right. I'll keep you safe here, Arthur. Don't worry. Yeah, you're strong, so we'll be fine. More questions? Oh, well, that's all. The previous questions are the same. Okay, no questions. Okay, that's all. Thanks. Okay, thanks for the talk. Careful when you roll. Okay, same thing. Okay, now let's talk to our another friend called Caesar, the spiky guy. Oh, hey, Arthur. Arthur the small. Arthur the small? Yeah, because there's two of you. The other one is Arthur the dumb. <laughs> How's it going? Have you known Sage Rai long? Caesar, can I ask you some questions? Sure, kid. What's in your noggin? Have you heard? Have you heard Sage Rai long? Have you known Sage Rai long? Pardon me. Pretty much, yeah. Before she became a sage, even. Childhood friends? Yeah, something like that. Any romantic subplots? Now, hold your horses, kiddo. She's like my sister. There are no romantic subplots, you hear? I see. Sorry for being insensitive. So, is she like your big sister on your or your little sister? Eh, kind of a bit of both. Is she any different from when... She was a child. Well, Rai always had that searing gift. Searing gift. So I think she's not all this for a while. Because of that, her personality hasn't changed the slightest. Maybe time moves differently for her, I don't know. How fascinating. So being a seer can shape your personality. No, it's just Rai being... Well, Rai. How's it going? Where do you come from? Who, me? Well, my background ain't that interesting. Oh, but I love listening to people's life stories. Yeah, we are here to learn more about the lore of this game, right? Arthur, right here. I really like where this is going, actually. Thank you for making this bonus level, uh, Sai. This is really something I like. Well, personally, I would like it. And I'm pretty sure many people will like it too. Heh, <laughs> you're a cute kid. A mark like mine probably warrants a tragic backstory from the slump or something. You're not? I was pretty well off. 
got everything I wanted, except of course the usual case of parental abandonment. But hey, moved around a lot, lost my way a few times. Oh, sounds a bit rough. His childhood, told to grow up with nothing to look up to, standard repression. Oh, poor thing. Eventually, I found my own friend. That's when Rai came. So it's Rai? Yeah, we traded letters when I moved. But she suddenly showed up after I can stand on my own. Said something like, I always knew you can do it. And then she whipped me off with her and dragged me in her sorcerer circle. That must have really surprised you. Oh, for sure. She later told me that I'd end up accompanying her in the future. That's why she always kept in touch. Has she told you what would happen to you in the future? A future family, maybe? Oh, nah. She can't get those things right anyway. Too much possibilities. Better that way. I like surprises. <laughs> Caesar, you're really cool. I'm glad there's always someone who cares a lot about you. Thanks, kid. Likewise. How's it going? How about Arthur? Your fight with Arthur was so funny. That guy's entire circus, of course, is funny. You might not see it, but you two have a lot in common. Huh. <laughs> Must be the depression. I really should challenge him into another fight now that he has you out of his damn hands. Oh, but that wouldn't be fair because Arthur knows healing spells. By logic, he might have a higher chance of winning. He can have his heals. My poisons will be enough to mitigate that heal over time. Oh, you're right. Then I can't wait to watch the rematch. How's it going? Okay. Love you. I love you, Caesar. Terrible decision, really. <laughs> How's it going? That's all. Thanks. So, um. Okay. Oh no, I, I skipped it again. So we managed to know that this guy had a rough childhood. Um, Caesar has a rough childhood. Um, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, anyways, um, he has a rough childhood, and he, yeah, he he's a uh, kind of stuck with a sage right. They kind of uh, have a brother and sister relationship kind of thing. And so um, now let's move on to. Um, I see a person down there. Let's talk to them. This person right here. I think it's a new character. Who are you? Oh, I'm. I'm just a guest in this cafe. You can call me Sai. Oh. So this is the developer. Ah, nice to see you. <laughs> Hello. Huh? Well, what's up, you Arthur? Hey, you're the creator. I heard your complaints while you're making these games. More importantly, she's ignoring me. <laughs> Please speak to me once you're ready to go to get back to the title screen. May I ask you questions about the game? Sure. I also accept questions regarding the characters in this game. Once you've closed this game, you can send any question to any of the characters and I will add, add it in the next update. I can ask them anything? Absolutely anything. Just shoot any questions to my Twitter, at Cypherica, or even the itch.io page, game page itself. Awesome, I'll keep that in mind. I do have uh, an itch account, so I will keep in touch with your developer. And I would like to see more games, hopefully. Also, feel free to check this table for artworks and screenshots of my journey while this game was in development. Alright! Either way, that is enough from me. Thank you once again for completing my very first game. I appreciate it. Alright. Let's look at the artwork. Nice! I love this. But, but now let's move on. There are two sketches here. Let's look at artist sketch. Ah, nice artwork. Very nice, very nice. And uh, Arthur apparently looks taller in the picture. Mm hmm, interesting. 
Oh, that, that is crawling. <laughs> There's more. Now let's look at cosmicals. <laughs> nice, nice, very nice. Uh, oh, this one is, uh, I believe, that the developer is also a good artist. So, kudos to the developer. Nice art, nice artwork, very professional looking. Okay, that's enough. Time to talk to Cosmical. Ah, oh, Arthur, good to see you. What is your wish? Do you have hobbies? Vis visit Cosmical. What do you do? Have fun. Why, I find fun in everything. The clouds driven by, the sound of the leaves shifting, Arthur streaming my name in the distance. So basically you like to daydream, that's nice. I also enjoy visiting places with high spiritual energy. They're all connected to me after all. The least I can do is nurture them. What is your wish? Uh, what's your thoughts on others? May I ask your thoughts on Sage Rai and Voila first? I don't mind Rai, she's easy to get along with and she bakes great breads. Hmm, yeah, one of the finest breads in this town. I don't know what the name of the town is. Verse has been quite high strung when I'm around and I am unsure how to ease his nerves. What about Caesar and Arthur? Caesar has always been aggressive towards me, but he's just all bark and no bite. Now Arthur, he bites. <laughs> Not again. He got bit by the love bug, huh? I am hoping he leaves a mark. This guy is scandalous. Because even I'm surprised at myself for being this invested over a human. So you're aware? What is your wish? What are your what are you best at? Yeah. What I'm best at? In bed. Oh no, don't go there, please. I want to make this family friendly and you ruined it. Cosmical, you are evil. you are bad, bad, bad wizard. No way. Don't say things like that to a child. What is wrong with you? Oh good, you heard. It was meant for you. <laughs> He's angry. Okay, next question. I'm gonna plug my ears. <laughs> this is a romantic orientation. I'm scared to ask this in fear of you going overboard, but what is your romantic orientation? Arthur. <laughs> Obviously. He doesn't hide it though. Wouldn't you like to ask me why? As long as you promise to keep this kid friendly, sure. Why do you like Arthur? I'm blessed by the energy of this world. Everything's connected to me and I can feel the other and unity. However, Arthur is not from this world. He's not? I thought he came from another area across the sea. No, his energy is not from this world. He was transported from another world entirely. Well, he's right, you know. Since he's not from this world, his energy is different. He's not connected to me. And I find that, as well as his resistance to me, incredibly refreshing. Addictively so, I might add. It feels like, for once in my life, I, I have to work hard to get someone to like me for myself. Not by magic, nor fame. That is why I like Arthur. Oh, he's a... So you're trying to say that? Wait, uh, Arthur is playing hard to get. Ah, that is pro that is from Cosmical's perspective, of course. Whoa, that's surprisingly informative. Thank you for sharing. However, good luck on winning Arthur by personality alone, because that's the main thing he dislikes about you, <laughs> Savage. How can you continue to smile while saying such a thing? Please, Cosmical, I'm only mirroring you. What is your wish? I love you. Please, Cosmical, I love you. Good. That is how you say it. With all your heart. Yes, I'm not so petty to not show love towards the one who turned my bones into diamonds. <laughs> Another savage line there. 
author, as recompensation for almost destroying your body, I would like to offer my blessing services. Thank you, but there is no need. It is enough to have to have you by our side when we need you, Wizard Cosmical. Of course, Feel for you, my blessings and magic are at your disposal. And for my dear Arthur, I would like to offer my butt. Well, no, not again. Whenever he is ready to help me. Very scandalous, very controversial character, this Cosmical. Not very kid friendly. Um, for those who are watching this video, if you are you are not of legal age, I I'd rather you just keep this part with Cosmical. Just keep Cosmical's parts, and you'll be fine. Please don't say that to him. He might try to auction you off. What is your wish? Okay, that's all. Thanks. Now I'll talk to uh, a wandering warlock verse. Well, hello, Wallopers! Arthur Pendragon. To what do I owe the pleasure? How old are you? Wallopers, how old are you? In the past, elves recorded their ages based on their achievements. Only then could an elf say he's grown up. I heard that due to how elves value freedom, they are not they, they are expected to settle much later in life. Is that true? You knew about it. I'm pleasantly impressed. I know a lot about. I know a lot of things. Yeah, probably because of the stories he has been. Uh, you know, his parents read him uh, children's books when he was a sword and he was a child, and he knows a lot of things. So yeah. Then you can you guess my age? I'll teach you another spell later if you get it right. Oh, let me try, let me try. Let's see. 650 years old? That is very close. Congratulations. I will teach you a Fulton Link spell after this. Yes! As a parent, did why do I owe you History or so. When Arthur and I were exploring, we came upon the hieroglyphs depicting the story of the mountains. Ah, the previous civilization. <coughs> Sorry, pardon me. Yes, if I remember correctly, it said the three sorcerers existed even then. Well, yes, I was one of them. You were alive back then too? I am blessed with a long life. I have been breathing for almost 700 years after all. Ah, 700 years. Amazing, amazing. Wow, that's amazing. Even Arthur thought so. There were always three sorcerers. I've seen the darkness and what it can consume. Thus I became the Warlock. The title for the wizard is more exclusive and relies heavily on the world's energy. Cosmical was chosen around 400 years ago. 400, eh? Okay. <coughs> the sage with title has a unique condition. It requires foresight, something that's inherited. Thus, only Rai's family tree can take the mantle. I see, that explains some things. We are meant to support one another with our different fields of skills to ensure the world is without threat. Unfortunately, the only constant threat for this 400 years have been cosmical. What an embarrassment to the elves. Maybe he will change now that he has a goal in his mind. I'm strongly hoping it will not be for the worst. Arthur Penragon will wide wide all the time. Thoughts or not? Well, of course, what are your thoughts on the other two sorcerers? Okay, so there are three sorcerers. One is a sage, another is a wizard, and another one is... Um... Warlock. I can't remember his full name, but it is a uh, wandering warlock. Okay, now I remember. I've been given responsibility by my old friend to look over Rai. She's his favorite descendant, you see. I was very worried when I learned she was born a human. Humans are fragile, and I thought I had my hands full. Surprisingly, she can hold on her own throughout her years. It is quite a relief. 
I can rely on her. Now that excuse of a wizard, however. The previous wizard, also my good friend, warned me about a potential wild card. The previous sage confirmed that wild card is the next wizard, so I have been preparing myself to discipline him. Discipline him. Ah, and I believe this wild card is standing to his right. This guy, um, whimsical wizard, cosmical, I think. However, he managed to escape escape me every single time I tried to keep him in range. Being the strongest out of all of us, I was worried he might get drunk on power, but it wasn't power he's drunk on, it's disregard for life. How incompetent. We are meant to save lives, help the weak, teach the strong, but Cosmical would not adhere to my rules like a vagabond. Goodness, it sounds like you've had your hands full. I am old and I am tired. Once I pass on, I wish the next warlord bountiful luck. What do you think of Caesar and Arthur? Many think they are thinking, but they are actually sorting out their prejudice. So am I. When I first met you as a sword, I sensed your hospitality towards Arthur due to his species. That is true. I cannot shake off this feeling of weariness and superior superiority, and I apologize for offending you both. I have no special thoughts on Caesar. He is valued by right, and thus I trust him to keep her human. Keep her human, okay? After all, our first impression regarding one another has not been spectacular. Definitely not. It is too easy to get a rise out of him. But since he has earned your absolute trust, I will spare him. Warlock Burns, you are a pretty strict elf, huh? I have high expectations of everyone, and very few manage to pass the bar. How scary! So Wiz Cosmical and Arthur shares your contempt. What a pair they make. I know you mean that in disdain, but what do you think of them as an actual pair? Eh. Let me make it clear. It would not be a sin for any human, any elf, anyone to put, the, put to put their love on Cosmical. Arthur Pendragon, to, to what do I owe the pleasure? Ah. Okay, romantic orientation. Well, of birth, what is your romantic orientation? I am 647 years old. If I wanted to settle down, I would have at 450. I see, so you don't feel any romantic attraction to anyone. I see no point in it. Plus, with the nature of my magic, it would be bad if they get caught up. Arthur Penrugan, to what do I owe the pleasure? I love you! Well of birth, I love you! You deserve to be loved, Arthur. We all love you. Arthur Thank. that's all. Thanks. That's an interesting story there. So apparently, they have pretty much like a master and apprentice uh, relationship. And uh, this guy always escapes from this guy. Although this guy is trying to keep this guy in check. Doesn't always work, unfortunately. Okay, let's uh, talk to Sage, try. Hi, Arthur! Anything I can help you with? Are you human? Say, are you a human, right? Of course I am. Why? Oh no, you look so ethereal. You can pass as any as a fairy or an elf. You are really pretty. Oh, thank you, Arthur. That's sweet of you to say. My hair wasn't always this pastel. It used to be dark purple, like grapes. The more I use my magic, the more the color faded, it seems. Oh, is that why Wallopper's hair is so white? <laughs> I guess so. He is the oldest out of all of us. So you're the youngest? Those two are elves, Arthur. Of course I'm the youngest. I'm the sole human sorceress. Anything I can help you with? Becoming a sage. I'm curious to know, Sage, right? How did you become a sage? The title of sages was typically given to any uh, to species with larger lifespans because they can hold more knowledge than humans. However, I'm a little bit special because I can see things far into the future, so my knowledge is as far as I can see. That's so cool! 
I knew I will become a great sage very early in life. I just see it. It was so weird. I hope she's not bragging. I don't think she's bragging. She's a genuinely nice woman. But how did you get this searing, searing powers? The last great sage was my great 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 grandfather. How many times did I say great? She was an elf, just like Burst and Cosmic. Oh, so you have elven blood. No, he married a human. Elven blood has been diluted through several generations, so I'm fully, fully human, I can confirm. While I don't have elven blood, I have elven-like affinities with magic. Including searing? Yes, in fact. My great-great-great-great-great-grandfather has already said his sixth generation will be a seer. I wonder if Warlock first and Wizard Cosmic will know your ascendant. I'm not sure about that, Cosmic. I'm not sure about Cosmic, but first listen to me because he personally knows the, the last great sage. They were good friends. Oh. Yep, sorry my fate. I mean, yep. So my fate has already entwined with the elves and their magic the moment I was born. Which is why I was adamant to bring Caesar with me to keep me grounded. Ah, I see. So, to keep her in check, kind of. Heaven knows I might become less and less of a human hanging out with all these elves and high-level in incantations. I see, I understand now. It makes sense. You're incredible, Sage, right? Not really. I just want to get by with as little worldly catastrophes as possible. What can I help you with? Okay. Uh, first impression. What was your first impression when you met Warlock person with Cosmical? Ah, this is a little tricky because I've already met them in my mind when with the searing because physically before physically melting meeting them. Oh my goodness. Too many tongue tied. But basically I find verse to be very respectful, like a grandpa I admire. While cosmic I was frankly put off by how weird and insensitive he is sometimes. But eventually I got used to him. Thank goodness Henry was there to soothe and smoothen our first meeting. What about your first meeting with Caesar? Same thing, I met him in my mind when I was free. When I actually would meet him when I actually would meet him when I was seven. He was pretty shy and a bit withdrawn. I immediately know, knew he was going to have a lot of, on his plate to fight his inner demons. I was cheering for him fell letters for years after he moved. I know he's going to overcome it. I'm glad you encouraged him. He probably needed it. He's like my wingman now. Whenever I get too deep into the future, I'd forget the present. He'll remind me. What about Arthur? Arthur is funny. I, I like him from the start. He acts like that, but he values trust a lot. He's cool in my book. And me? You are the sweetest, most intelligent child. I wish I can adopt you. Though, first already did that. <laughs> Thank you. I hope I can contribute something with this second life. I think I'll help you with uh, more questions. Wait, before we go, man. I love you. Say try, say try. Yes, yes. I love you. Oh, a declaration of love. Allow me to also declare it as well. I love you too, Arthur. Maybe I can help you. Ah, that's very sweet. Okay, more questions. Yay, more questions. How old are you? I hope I'm not being rude for asking, but how old are you? I turned 26 this year. Oh. Ah, she's only slightly older than myself. Oh, you're a bit older than Arthur. Really? How old is he? He's 24. Ah. Ooh, that means I can finally be the big sister I always wanted to be, to both Arthurs. Everyone around me are always older than me, so this is a great change of face. Hey Arthur, a little request, can you call me Big Sister? Big Sis Rye. <laughs> I can die happy now. Bread, since when did you start baking? Oh, it was purely from research. I found that enchanting breads are easier and can be as potent as enchanting jewels. The effect can't last as long as jewels, but that's how I got steady income. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice income. A lot of money. Arthur likes money too. 
What's your favorite bread to eat and to bake? Ah, I'm really obsessed with perfecting how to bake brioche. Or brioche, I don't know how to spell this at the moment. Also explain to me what it is. As for my favorite, I like pretzels. They're fun to make and fun to eat. Hmm, pretzels, nice, nice. Yay, more questions. Biggest fan. Who likes your breads the most? It's those two elves. No way around it. Since they don't, they don't sleep sometimes. They wake me up at 2 a.m. for bread. Like who in the right mind does that? Wow, that's some dedication. Uh huh. I appreciate it, but please also understand that's that's the right time for things. Which of those two do you think likes your bread most? Hmm. While Cosmic is very is more upfront with what he wants. Worse is more picky and demanding, so I just hit this worse. Yay, more questions. Um Oh, biggest fan. Oh well I already went around here. Do you have a girlfriend? Say right, do you have a girlfriend for chance? I wish Okay, that's all. That's all. Thanks. <laughs> Interesting. Now let's talk to one person, one uh, one uh, elf that we haven't talked to, uh, Amri. Arthur, good day. Do you to talk to me? How are you, Amri? How are you feeling today? Oh, just wonderful. I'm so happy you're back, Arthur. However, I can never shake off this guilt for starting this whole catastrophe. Oh, it's okay, Amri. I never blamed you. You're just a medium. Used to find me. Wizard Cosmical, however. Whatever the case, I am thankful to have a second chance at life, and for that, I thank you. You know, Arthur slash Sordi is a very kind boy. I really admire his kindness. We really need somebody. I need to meet somebody like him. And I think I will always smile if I'm around somebody like him. Arthur. I'm not sure if if that was said with genuine, genuine thankfulness or pure malice. Do you wish to talk to me? I'm pretty sure he means it. Meeting the wizard. When did you meet? When when did you met wizard Cosmical, Henry? Oh, our glade was defiled, and I was captured by a creature I couldn't remember. The winds have just blown me to the hollow and a dust talent fairy was beginning to sprinkle pixie dust to birth us. So you were just a baby when your home was defiled? Yes, that is correct. Oh, you poor thing. I could remember the incident very well, but I can feel the loss of my sisters. I think the, pro the spelling is... Uh, L-O-S uh, with uh, two S's, S instead of T at the end, but then again, it's okay, it's just a small error, small mistake, no matter. When a fairy dies, it, the, its light goes out. I could not see any lights that night. That's terrible. Yes, but then, the air grew piercingly cold. Oh, is it Wizard Cosmical? That's right, he came for us. Since this world's energies are linked directly to him, he can feel it when one source of energy was defiled. Wow, so he saved you. That he did, and since I have no home to come back to, nor any family to flirt with, to flit with, Cosmic became my home and family. Henri, this is why I would wholeheartedly stay with him despite everything. We are a team. Though I so dearly wish he'd be a little bit more mature. <laughs> that may ain't right after all. <laughs> you wish to talk to me about Wizard Cosmico. Oh, I'm so tired of looking after him. You see, the Warlock and I recently agreed to make a pact. In which, when, whenever it has come to my attention that Cosmic is up to no good, I will notify Burst immediately. Oh, so you're like an adult alarm bell. A bell that can be heard globally in any plane of dimension. So verse can get to us faster. Ah, but I'm sure Wizard Cosmical has learned his lesson. What makes you believe that? 
he really, really, really wants to impress Arthur. Ah, yes, I almost forgot his courting for Arthur. Arthur, between you and me, what do you think? Think of what? Do you have feelings for Wizard Cosmical? Heavens, no, I meant... What do you think of Arthur and Cosmic getting together? Ah, I'm sorry, my brain short-circuited there for a moment. I don't know, Ari. Wizard Cosmical may be persistent, but Arthur is pretty stubborn. Do you think Arthur might like him, even just a little bit? Frankly, no. But maybe a relationship outside of the romantic spectrum might work, such as friends with benefits. Henri, I must remind you that I am 14 years of age. Yeah. And while back in my time, 14 was old enough to get engaged, I learned that times have changed and allow children to be children, which I am grateful for. Oh, my. That's quite young, even for human standards. My apologies. Perhaps continuing that conversation with Sechra might provide you with more answers? Oh, Arthur, you little genius, I will. Fujoshis are terrifying. What is a Fujoshis? Though? I have no idea. <laughs> Sorry. Do you wish to talk to me? Okay, do you have any fight? Arthur, do you fight with the cosmical often? Well, it's more of me nagging him while he's out with well, while he's there spacing out. What a maternal relationship. Honestly, that man, he is much older than me, yet he acts like such a child. In fact, you are much more mature, Arthur. How old are you again? I'm 14 years old. Though, so, I'm a bit surprised though, because I thought that Arthur is at least a hundred years old. Oh, then again, probably immortalized after he was transformed back into a human being. So, I guess all those centuries didn't count, eh? And that man is 439 years old. Ugh, I'm so pleased, pleased with him. There, there, Henri, calm down. Maybe he will finally mature now that he's fallen. Oh, he better. I need his offspring to have their first laugh so the winds can blow it to the hollow. Oh, so then you can sprinkle your dust and new fairies will be born? Yes, Arthur. I'm impressed you knew. There were a lot of mythical creatures from the fairy tale books my mother used to read to me. I know a lot. Ah, that's how he got his knowledge. Interesting. Okay. But why do you want Wizard Cosmical's baby specifically? Other than the fact that he's the sole reason I'm alive, he's also the only sorcerer out of those three with the possibility to produce. Why though? I'm curious to ask more, but I'm scared if it will breach scary grounds not meant for a child my age. Oh my goodness. Oh no, it's nothing explicit. Frost is too old to copulate, while Rai can't deal with men at the moment. Thus, I want those babies' laughters. Cosmic, mate already. Oh my goodness, this is weird. Patience, Henry. This one needs time. Uh, stop looking at me expectantly. Wow, thank the heavens I'm still 14. Do you wish to talk to me? I, I love you, Henri. You're such a sweetheart. I love you too. He was in Uh, that's all. Thanks. She's quite creepy as well. And again, this guy is more creepy. But that's the end. Uh, can we talk to? I mean, interact with these things? Uh, I'm afraid not. Can we interact with the fire? Though? Neither. Oh, I think that is all. All the characters we have talked to. So we have covered all the characters. Let me try to do a summary. Arthur is well. This is Arthur. We are controlling Arthur, the uh, also known as Sordi, but he's now a human, so his name is Arthur. But I might still call him Sordi because I'm more familiar with the name Sordi. And this guy is also Arthur, but this is Arthur without an H. Um. This is Cosmical, 
Okay, this is our best friend. And he's a very good guy. Uh, he has he he comes from a very terrible place. This is Cosmical. He is a very weird and whimsical wizard who wants to court Arthur. This is Warlock Burst, who is uh, pretty much quite a kind person, but he is very strict as a as a sorcerer. He is one of the strictest sorcerers out there. This is Sage Rai. She is uh, half human and half um, half elephant, and she she has some supernatural ability that allows her to make bread. This is the fairy Henry, Fairy Henry, who who takes care of Cosmical, keeps Cosmical in check, and she is a fairy who is a who was rescued by Cosmical once upon a time. This is what's his name? Caesar. Uh, also Caesar, also known as Spiky, who had a very rough childhood. But um, Sage Rai uh, took him under her wing, and apparently Caesar is the reason. Uh, uh, also keeps uh, Sage Rai in check, make sure that she her human human side is more prevalent. Pre I, I mean, more uh, more obvious. Uh, Caesar helps make Sage uh, Rice uh, Sage Rice human side more obvious, more appealing, kind of. I hope you understand. And this is Sai. This is the the great developer of the game. And yeah, he. Uh, I think it's a she. Although I I want to say they because I I don't want to assume they are. A, they are a genius. Sai is a genius, and he made the artwork. This artwork, this is a very nice artwork. She also made this two artwork of Arthur and Cosmical. Very nice. And so that wraps up all the characters. I hope that I managed to uh, summarize them decently. Anyways, uh, time is running out. It's actually past midnight. I think it's past midnight. Anyways, uh, I hope to see you again in the next, in the near future. This is the end of the Arthur playthrough, and I really enjoyed the game. I really hope that you will find it enjoyable too. And between then and now, I would like to say goodbye, and I hope to see you again next time in another playthrough. Bye bye.